can you introduce yourself and where you are currently living? All right. Uh, my name is Helen Marie Bessie Sanuk. I'm my maiden name is Sanungtuk, and I live here in Shishmara. Um, I can remember when we first came here. Um, the the beach was probably at least a quarter to a half mile out from where it is now. Um, we used to be able to run around on the beach in large groups and play different games. Um, beyond the beach was the um, ocean. Before the beach was a lot of um, solid ground, a lot of grass, um, not so much sand. Um, the grass was found all over the island. Um, it grew tall and thick. Um, there wasn't much sand blowing around like there is now. Hi, my name is Samuel Taktu and I'm from Shishmaref and this is my uncle Stanley Taktu. He's also from Shish. Earlier you talked about like all the changes of climate change, so how, how is that going to affect us in the future? Earlier today, I mentioned we go out in the ocean, we could read the ice, and there's blue eyes, green eyes. We had big old icebergs that used to float in the ocean that was blue and green. We use that for drinking water. We go to, we chop a piece, big old chunk, take it home, that's fresh water. It's just like glacier ice. Nowadays, do you see that in the ocean? No. Climate change wiped out, melted everything. No. Nowadays, we, it, it's real spooky for us to go on the ice. Nowadays, it's, it's not solid anymore like the floor or the table. What happens now, we see big old ice cakes. And the funny thing about it, it flexes. That means it's weak. There's no strength, so we, we can tell. A lot of our sea mammals, such as the beards, say we depend on for the oil and the meat and the walrus. They got no haul out. They, they, they're, they're, they're having a hard time, too. We, we learn. You know, how do we take care of ourselves and we feel sorry for the animals and the birds we depend on because it all come back to how we are going to survive.